Hey everybody, this is Perch. And if you've been a Comixology reader, loyalist, somebody who's tried to use that app to download digital comics, you're probably pissed off. And not that kind of happy pissed off or you've, you've drank a little bit and you feel like just going out and maybe causing some trouble, but pissed off like you'd like to, you know, find the Amazon buildings and burn them to the ground. That kind of pissed off. So what is this and why is this not an exaggeration? Well, the latest news is that Amazon's Comixology app removes all in-app purchases for Android users. So what does this mean? Well, there's a decent amount of people who are Android users of Comixology. If you do not have the cash to fork out the money for an iPad, uh, you know, Amazon has, uh, there, there's several tablets that use Android, Google Android as their operating system, and they're, they're particularly popular for people who are reading digital comics because maybe they aren't super, uh, super rich. Now, by the way, there's another issue with that as well, but, but basically, um, uh, Comixology issued the statement to remain in compliance with Google's updated Play Store policies. Purchasing is no longer supported in the Comixology app for Android. Comixology readers can continue to read and browse, and subscription numbers can continue to borrow in the app as they usually do. While browsing in the app, readers can add items that they would like to purchase to their lists, which are also accessible on the Amazon website. Customers can continue to purchase books, magazines, and comics, as well as subscription content from the Amazon website. So what does this mean? Well, it means if you're an Amazon user and you go to Comixology and try and buy something, you can't. They might say, that's weird. It's a digital storefront for digital comics. You're right. You're right. That'd be weird. That would kind of be like if you went into, say, uh, the grocery store and they said, hey, you can't actually buy anything in here. Now, if you go back home and you get on your computer and you uh, purchase some groceries there for pickup and then you drive back to the grocery store, then we'll have them a bag ready for you. But if you just came into the grocery store with cash in hand, ready to buy some groceries, well, screw you. You're not getting anything. That's basically, uh, that basically is, is where things are. So uh, how dumb is this? It's super dumb. It is a terrible user experience to have to go onto Amazon and purchase your comics that way. And it, it basically, I, I think, I'll, I'll put it this way. So uh, somebody on Twitter actually did a good job of listing the things that you cannot do on Comixology anymore. They include buy comics. <laughs> Just you can't buy comics in Comicsology. You cannot read comics in a web browser only through the app. You cannot use any previous sorting functionality that, that existed. You cannot purchase anything if you're outside of the US at all. You can no longer subscribe to a series. You can no longer purchase more than one book at a time, and you can no longer download DRM-free copies of non-Marvel DC comics. Um, and you might say, well, no problem. Okay, well, uh, cool. Um, you know, at least you could still do these things on, on the iPad. You know, maybe it uh, requires some extra cash to afford it, but you could still do that. Nope. Apple also does not, uh, you cannot, you cannot buy things on iOS either. So basically, if you have the iOS app or the Android app, you cannot buy comics. Now you can go to Amazon's website, so you can back out of there, go to Amazon's site, buy the comic there, go back to Comixology, and in theory, read this, the thing after it's been, you know, connected up. But there's a number of, of user experience problems. Um, trying to use Comixology for me is a, is a nightmare. Because very frequently, it's like the app kind of forgets what it's doing. And so it will render the comics in this super blurry, or I call it drunko view, uh, you know, version. And so the only solution to that is either to rapidly toggle back and forth on the pages, like you're giving your app a spaz attack, or completely force quit the app entirely and uh, launch it again. And then maybe it will work better. Maybe. That's, uh, that's, that's where we're at. Now, I, I mean, th th it's, it's, it's absolutely baffling how we got here. Um, people hate all of this. <laughs> the, the, uh, response uh, to, uh, comiXology 
has created a absolute nightmare to where you see these sites talking about, uh, like here's from The Verge, the merging of comicsology and Kindle has created a hell I'd like to escape. It is uh, the, cons the comicsology consumption into Amazon, the merging into that, uh, that service. The, now keep in mind, Amazon bought comicsology nearly 10 years ago. So nine years ago, Amazon purchased comicsology. Largely, they didn't deal with it. They just kind of left it alone with it, pursued other business. And then, uh, earlier this year, in 2022, Amazon decided, F it, let's make this experience as horrible as humanly possible. And they did it. What's particularly weird, if you heard the video from a couple days ago about why, uh, or maybe it wasn't a couple days ago, I don't remember, when, when I recorded it many, many days, days ago, um, if I'm smart, I'll put this video up relatively quickly before a bunch of other people get to it. But uh, it's, it's, it's as if Amazon said, hey, we're a multi-billion dollar, maybe trillion dollar company. We understand online content. We understand merchandise. We understand selling things. Let's do the opposite of everything we know how to do well with these comics because screw comics. And maybe somebody in, uh, inside the group's like, hey, there's a bunch of digital comics app already kind of doing a good job. Maybe we can copy. It's like, nope, shut up, shut up. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to make it impossible to purchase, subscribe, or really do anything but read the comics. And we're even going to make that experience as shitty as possible for people. It is baffling uh, how we got here. I mean, it is absolutely insane. If you are any content creator who's signed up or doing anything with Comixology, you have to be wishing for the swift death of whoever is a product man. Ah, I mean, so I, sorry, let me back away from that. Of course, we don't wish for anybody to, anybody to die. But we certainly hope that the decisions that go into that, into this, uh, die a quick death. It is an, uh, insane. Now, I feel comfortable saying some of this because I know people within Amazon. I know some people within Comixology. I know people who are part of the original acquisition who have since left. So a couple of people who have kind of filtered their way into Amazon. Nobody likes this inside the company either. Everyone is confused. Trying to figure out who actually took these steps is bizarre. Now, granted, both iOS and Android, so Google Play and uh, an Apple App Store, that vending system, changed the way you can buy things. But it clearly doesn't make it impossible. You have in-app purchases and you, lots of other companies are doing it. And they changed this. I think Apple changed it in 2014, eight years ago. Google Play did uh, last year, earlier this year. Anyway, it's, it's not impossible to, uh, to basically make this better. They're just choosing not to. For reasons of apathy, for reasons of, you know, there's just not a lot of money coming in from digital. Who knows? But it is straight up amazing that it's this bad. So it, it would be, put it this way, at this point, it would be better if they were doing nothing because this experience is just, just the worst. And again, it, if you look at, I mean, hell, you've got a number of games that sell fake pretend guns. You've got the, you know, you've got NFTs that are fake pretend value that uh, people are somehow shopping in, and Amazon cannot figure out. Amazon the company that sells stuff online cannot figure out how to sell things online. It's either incompetence at this massive scale or clearly they do not give a shit about comics. But I do feel bad for the people who, who did sign up and do stuff with Comixology because clearly you are not happy right now. It's absolutely taking away from your sales. If you're a company who is hoping to make some money off Amazon or do something with Amazon, this is a bullet to your bottom line. It's, they're making it so hard to actually do basic things. In this case, give them money. It is legit hard. Now, can you figure it out? Of course. If people will say, oh, you're exaggerating. You can, you, could, uh, you can go away from the app and launch Amazon and sign in and find the comic there and hit purchase and then wait 20 seconds for it to sync back up with the server and then open Comixology. And then, you know, with any luck, you'll find your comic there. But if you don't, you can always force quit. No big deal. And then you launch it again, and then maybe your comic will be there. And it's great if it's there. And then when you click it, maybe the pages are all blurry as hell and you can't read anything. But what's the big deal? You just, again, force quit the app. Maybe you reboot your tablet. 
come back in and launch it open, it'll be fine. Yeah, it sounds really easy, you dumbass. Anyway, this is, uh, I, I hate the unforced error. I hate just, just deciding, waking up one morning, I'm like, you know what? Let's make our lives super difficult. That's what's happened here. Anyway, there's the news from Comixology. What in the hell? Thanks for listening.